What's good, YouTube? Vikasa Kavi here. So, we have another one of Heidi's requests that she put in for Jimmy Barnes tonight. To close it out, we have Jimmy Barnes, I Die to Be With You Tonight. I love songs that are probably, this is probably going to be a love song style thing. I love Jimmy's style of writing love songs, especially in his younger years. There's a lot of spunk in them. He has a very spunky approach to his older songs from the younger years. I can tell this is one from then. Because of the album cover that is on the lyric sheet, he's very young in the album cover. That's how I can tell that this is from his younger years. So I know this one's going to have a lot of energy. It's going to be very passionate, probably very fiery inside of this song. It's always like that in the older Jimmy songs. So Heidi, thank you for your request. Thank you for that list of all the Jimmy songs. We got plenty of Jimmy coming for you guys. Heidi gave us a very, very detailed list, even with like the which ones to do live, which ones to do videos for. She really went in and gave us what we needed to do the best reactions for these songs. So I appreciate you doing that, Heidi. Thank you for taking the effort and the time to put that together for me. It means the world. If you guys are new here, Go ahead and subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation, music videos. We dive in and break down everything. I like to go the whole nine yards when it comes to analyzing all of this inside of the songs. The lyrics, the music videos, the live performances are always fun because we get into lighting and everything like that too. So just depending on whatever we get. Is what we break down and we got the video for this one so I'm excited for this one I say this in every video if you guys are dealing with anything whether it's an addiction struggle a mental health struggle or you're just having a lot of tough days and bad times I promise you you can pull yourself out of that you can become better you can do better in your life you can achieve all of your goals and your dreams you just have to really want it and you really have to apply yourself whenever it comes to actually dedicating to a new path in life and a new way of living for yourself that will be healthier and better. There's plenty of professional help out there and people that care and would love to see you doing better. Do not hesitate to reach out for that help. Like I said, it is available and there are so many people in the world who actually do care about people that are going through those kinds of struggles. So go become the best version of yourself and go live your best life. Be the miracle that you want to see in the world, right? I appreciate you guys. We're going to get into this one. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or three. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Jimmy Barnes. I die to be with you tonight. Okay. Oh. Uh, all right. Yeah. Let me tell you all about it. Mm. Nice. I've been thinking about you night and day. Hey. Sure been restless since you went away. You took something from me against my will. Ooh. You touched a nerve in me that's tingling still. Yeah. Well, you just snuck up behind me when my resistance was old. Ooh. And now's a hell of a time to find I can't let you go. Man. That fucking belt there, the classic Barnsey belt, as I call it, right? <laughs> it sounds like a star system, doesn't it? The Barnsey belt, that's what we call that. I love his youthful voice in these older songs. It's very, very powerful and has that, like I said, spunky flair to it. You can tell that he was very passionate about all of these songs that he was singing. I like the lyrics that we've started out with so far. The vibe of it with the acoustic guitar going as well and the power vocals over top of that style of guitar very very cool right here i like the vibe i've been thinking about you night and day sure been restless since you went away you took something from me against my will touched a nerve in me that's tingling still man he's well this is i don't know if it's about a specific encounter or if he's talking about somebody that he actually had a thing with that disappeared off or if this is just a sort of singular kind of encounter we'll find out as we dive deeper into it right but i like the way that he put this he's just got somebody in his thoughts that's keeping him restless and he feels like something's been taken it's almost like 
he feels like a piece of him has been taken, a nerve has been touched that he can feel inside of his body. That's like this energy of love and being drawn to a person is what he's describing. He says, you just snuck up behind me when my resistance was low and now's a hell of a time to find I can't let you go. He's saying, you snuck up right on me and I wasn't expecting to feel like that about anything. And then there it was, my resistance was low and it, the feeling happened for me, he said, but it's a hell of a time now to find that I can't let you go, right? So, any time's a hell of a time to have that feeling, right? It doesn't matter what time it is, it's a hell of a time to have that feeling, right? Jimmy puts these words together so well to describe the emotions of these scenarios. I love the storytelling. The video to this is good so far. I like the vibe and the lighting inside of the video. His voice sounds amazing. Let's get it. Well, you just snuck up behind me when my resistance was old. And now's a hell of a time to find I can't let you go. Yeah, I love it. It's about it's about his first encounter that's what it is wow so he's he's this is the initial love song for a situation is what this one has been written as this is that initial situation starting to happen inside of these lyrics he says got your first letter just the other day since i got it i can't put it away i just sit and read it over and over and over again as if the words that you wrote could bring this hurt to an end. And I bet they do too. Right? I bet they do. I bet he stops worrying about everything in that scenario. He just reads the words that were just said to him by this person that he's interested in. That he likes a whole lot. The first letter. And he says, it's from the other day. But man, let me tell you. It's still helping to bring this hurt to a bit of an end right <clears throat> but we'll see you know how they like to switch this around inside of these love songs it, you never know what is going to happen by the end of one of these i love the unpredictability of these but i'm loving the story of this one so far just being stuck inside of that first special moment of the first letter reading it over and over again he's like i can't stop fucking thinking about you you're one that can end my hurt i think that's what he's saying i love it So now it's about not being, like, actually together in person, right? He's saying, well, you just left me here waiting and left a wound that won't heal. You're so far away, you don't know how I feel. He says, he's like, shit. I am reading this and realizing exactly how I feel about this, but... Now you're not here and I can't say it to you. That's what he's saying in this. Wow. Yeah, that's an unfortunate that's an unfortunate circumstance to be in, but you just have to bear in mind that you'll have that chance, hopefully, right? Bearing that nothing bad happens to either person inside of a situation, you'll have that opportunity to say that to that person again after that first open letter so to speak right i appreciate stuff like this you could take it a few different ways there's a layer of heartbreak inside of it because he's feeling he's missing this person that's what it is he's longing and missing for them because he got something from them that was so damn special that now he's like man I wish you were here so I could tell you exactly how special this feels to me right now. And so that you could see it and I could express it to you. That's the vibe here. I love it. Jimmy is so creative, man. So say you take your chance on this heart of mine. Hey. Don't make me the one that you left behind. But I'm not saying anybody's wrong or right. Just know what I'd be with you. 
nice chorus right there. I really love that chorus. Listen to his power vocals, man. His power vocals are so intense in this one. He's belting. Like I say, you gotta have a lot of good technique to not mess your voice up belting the way he does. Let's break down this chorus real quick. He says, so you say, so say you'll take a chance on this heart of mine and don't make me the one that you left behind. But I'm not saying anybody's wrong or right. Just know I die to be with you tonight. Mm, yes. He's saying, now that I know how I feel, and I've had some time to resonate with it and think about it, he's like, I want you to say that you'll take a chance on my heart, and don't make me the one that you left behind. He's saying, I'm not going to say that it's wrong or right either way that the scenario can go, but just know that I really would die to be with you tonight. I would love to have that chance to tell you how I feel and what has gone on since that first instance, right? And that's a, this is beautiful, man. Jimmy is, like I said, he's a special artist, man. He has this really great way of crafting words together that are just very thoughtful when it comes to representing the emotion that he wants to convey. You really feel it, and you can relate to it. I think anybody can relate to being given a love letter from somebody and then not seeing them for a few days or a week or two weeks or, you know, life happens. Chance encounters happen. You run into people. Sometimes you don't see somebody for a while after you've, like, caught some feelings or something like that. And then you just wonder, and you're like, damn, I would really love a chance to tell you how I feel about all of this. That's what this song is about, and Jimmy's doing a very, very good job of representing it here. I really appreciate stuff like this, and Jimmy's voice sounds beautiful as well. The band is jamming out. I love the classic rock vibe that this has, very upbeat. It's really ascended itself since the beginning. The beginning started acoustic, and now we've gone full into that classic rock vibe. I love it, man. This is awesome right here. Thank you, Heidi. I love the backdrop of the city lights that they have them over top of, and it's like meshing the two, like fading in and out between those two. That's a really cool way to have that effect in the video right there. I like stuff like that a whole lot when it comes to the videos. And also, we have, he actually did get a girl for the video as well to represent who he's thinking of, and that adds into the emotion of the video and the vibe of the song. I like it. It's very good and very well done on the video as well. For these lyrics, he says, I count the hours each time till you're gone. I don't have to let you leave me. Makes no sense at all. But if I have to follow you all around the world, I'd be willing to do anything to get to you, girl. He's like, he really likes this person a lot. The girl that this song's about. I wonder if this is actually something that he was going through at some point. It could be about it could even be about the whenever he was in the beginning stages of meeting his wife right because we know that jimmy's story with his wife has been told in many of our songs that we've done by him on here it's such a beautiful story the way that he expresses that love and song form towards his family and has them in the videos even and singing in the songs and everything like that it's very awesome that they are such a musical family right i love that for them it's really awesome that they have that bond with each other and jimmy is such a blessing to fucking have the amount of talent that he has and use it to put them on display like that. It's a really beautiful thing that he does. This might be about meeting her. It could be that. 
And then we got, you just left me here waiting and left a wound that won't heal. God, you're so far away, you don't know how I feel. That is deeply poetic. Very, very great way to describe the feeling of missing somebody that you want to tell how you feel, right? Man, Jimmy is one to pull at the heartstrings, is he not? He will really make you think about past times in your life and experiences that you've had, man. So deep right here. I love it. My guy going in on those last vocals there. I fucking love Jimmy's style, bro. You guys know that. I really enjoy the way that Jimmy performs. It's a very, very forward kind of vocal. So much energy. The rasp is so impressive that he can maintain that the way that he does and not lose his voice and have all that power behind it. Such a talented singer, a talented artist, brilliant songwriter, conveys emotion so realistically and relatably for anybody that listens to it. Anybody can relate to songs like this, man. This is a classic love song of meeting somebody for the first time. You exchange a love letter. In this instance, for him, a letter is exchanged or words are said, and he just remembers them and is like, holy crap, I really want to tell you how I feel because that was different, right? That's the thing. He's like, that feeling is different. Like, I need to find a way to tell you how I feel about this. He says, in this chorus again, so say you'll take a chance on this heart of mine, don't make me the one that you left behind, I'm not saying anybody's wrong or right, just know I die to be with you tonight, I count the hours each time that you're gone, I don't have to let you leave me, it makes no sense at all, I die to be with you tonight, he says it doesn't even make sense why I feel like this about you, I just met you, I don't know you. I got one letter from you, and it's like, <laughs> right? That's the vibe of the song. Jimmy is really good at fucking representing these emotions and truly showing them in their purest form. That's my favorite thing about him. I really loved this one. Heidi, thank you for all of these amazing requests. I look forward to the future reactions to Jimmy that we have as well. You gave me a long list, like I said, and we got plenty of that coming. We have... More coming from Swanee as well. We've got more Russell Morris. We have more Farnsey. We got more Easy Beats from Way. More Up Church coming. Uh, I think, I do believe that we also have more Ren coming as well. I think he's dropping some stuff. We have more Just Trey coming. Yeah, the list is long, guys. There's a lot of artists that we're going to get into coming up in the next few weeks, and I'm very excited to do that for you guys. You guys know I love getting on here, and I really enjoy spending time with you and getting to know each other through music and breaking down all of these words. I really appreciate the sentiment of this one. Very pure kind of love feeling that's just a longing for a new kind of connection that 
you haven't seen for a while and it's like a weird first time fling where you're really thinking about it and realizing you actually feel something more there and that's what this is about just wanting to be with that person some more and get to know them better and get to learn more about each other that's what this is i really appreciate this this is fucking awesome the original video for this will be in the description as always subscribe to jimmy support all the artists we have on the channel so what we do this for get the music out into the world relate it to our own lives discuss the topics inside of it thank you guys so much for building this community with me it's a blessing to get on here and spread all of this music and talk about the topics inside of them and encourage each other to be a better version of ourselves each day grow more inside of ourselves each day chase after our dreams do the things that we have to to accomplish them apply yourself fully and you can achieve anything that you want to man i promise you miracles can happen in your life you can get better whenever you're going through really bad times. I'm living proof of that. I nearly died from alcohol, and now I'm standing here doing this with you guys every single day. So take that as the message that it is, right? I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vakasa Kabi. A reaction video a day or three. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a blessed night. Peace.